Hi friends, today we will discuss about UC501 IP PBX system. As UC501 is having default IP address for the LAN port which is 192.168.101.1 and the username will be admin and the password will also be admin by default. As we have connected UC501 in our local network but our LAN IP series is 192.168.1. So firstly we need to add the IP series in our system network settings. So for this we need to move to the change adapter option and the system network settings. So here we will give the same IP series which the PBX is having. So I will give 192.168.101.50 to my PC. Now we will check the ping status for the IP address 192.168.101.1. As you can see it is pinging. Now we will browse UC501 by the default IP address given which is 192.168.101.1 As you can see this is the login page So by default the username and the password will be admin and admin Now click on login As you can see this is the dashboard Here we can find our first option which is system resources where you can check the CPU and the memory usage then on the right side we can find the local storage and the USB SD storage options then you can find the process status and communication activity here you can check the registered SIP extensions, FXO trunks, SIP trunks and the active calls then the next option is network so here we will click on network parameters here we can find our first tab which is basic so first is host name here we need to give the host name basically it is used to uniquely identify the device in the specific network and it adds dots in between words for example like ippbx.com and the second one is work mode here we can choose from single double bridge modes now we will change the IP address to 192.168 dot one dot two forty five you can also connect SIP trunk line in the WAN port of UC501 if you want a dedicated video to configure SIP trunk I will provide the video link in the description now we will click on save and now we need to wait for 30 seconds to apply the configuration changes As you can see we have successfully changed the IP address to 1.245 Now we will test a ping for this IP It is started pinging so now we can browse from this IP Again we need to login with the same username and the password which was admin and admin Now we will again click on network Then we will move to network parameters and the second tab will be your VLAN settings so here you can set your VLANs accordingly then you have the network host option the next option is VPN client so click on open VPN basically open VPN is a virtual private network system that implements techniques to create secure point-to-point -point or site-to-site -site connections in routed or bridged configurations and remote access facilities it allows the server to release an authentication certificate for every client then we have n2n l2tp and sstp which we will cover in the next video in detail now the next option is static routes as you can see I have created some of the static routes over here you can also add more from here
then the next option is your ddns client now we will move to dhcp and the dhcp server option here you can set this device as a dhcp server also it will automatically assign ip address default gateway and other network parameters to the connected client devices the next option is dhcp client where you can find your assigned client devices ip addresses then the next option is your security here you can audit the login and the logouts then we have weak key and certification then we have the hot standby mode here it is high availability in this there is a master slave concept when the master is down the slave goes up so for this scenario you need two uc501 which will work as a master and slave if you want a dedicated video please let me know in the comment section then the next option is firewall here you can set rules to accept or reject the traffic as per your need you can choose the services from here next is the fail to ban option add whitelist whitelist blacklist and jail which i will cover in the next part of this video in detail our next option is user permission here we can give separate permissions for each and every function whether it is system pbx fax reports extras logs and etc like in this scenario i gave all the permission that user 101 can access you can check or uncheck the permission as per your need next option is storage devices from here we can connect our nas storage to record the files as you can see i have given the nas storage location ip address username and the password then i will give the path here you can see the status like path capacity used status then we have the auto clean option here we can set when to clean the record files like we can choose from 7 days 15 days 30 days even up to 365 days there is an option never clean if you do not want your data to be cleaned you can also set the max storage and the reminder threshold then we have the email option here we will configure our smtp server to send the voice mails directly to our dedicated mail id other two options are voicemail and faxmail templates and in this option we can change the template for the voicemail and in this we can change the faxmail template also then we have the ldap server option uc501 has an integrated ldap server to provide centralized phone book management from here you can update your firmware now the next option is backup and restore from here you can create the backup or restore and from the reset button you can reset uc501 and we also have the auto backup function then we have the login settings here we can change the ports and from here we can set the reboot timings you can also set the reboot type on daily weekly or monthly basis then we have the event setting and event log option also you can edit the operations from here then we have the event log options here you can see the user login logs with ip address date and time now the next option is network capture this part is used for the troubleshooting purpose so if you are facing any calling issues we can capture from here and troubleshoot the issues the next option is port monitoring so here you can select your fxo ports like this device is having two ports active right now so we can monitor those ports accordingly so you can just select on this those ports and then just click on start record here you can check the ping status or the trace route and the next option is date and time so here you can change your date and time or you can sync it with your browser also
the next option is for currency here you can set the currency as per your region this option is very helpful if you use a billing software with this and the next option is about here you can check your firmware version model name fxo fxs modules availability serial number firmware build etc i hope you like this video if so then please like comment and share and do not forget to subscribe the channel and stay tuned for the part 2